Satoyama Holiday in Japan 2020. Now, Tokyo Olympic Games will be held in 2020, and a lot of people are thinking of coming. A lot of people are thinking of coming to Japan, and many of you are probably thinking of, you know, going to Tokyo and Osaka and Kyoto, which is great. But if you are coming to Japan, I highly recommend that you come to Satoyama, and I'll tell you why. But before that, let me tell you what Satoyama is first. Now, Satoyama is usually located in the countryside. It is an area near the mountains, just like those mountains. And uh, people practiced a sustainable way of living in the past by circulating resources within. Uh, for example, uh, people went to the mountains and they cut trees uh, to build houses and furniture and stuff like that. And remaining wood can be used as firewood. And also, uh, people collected uh, foreign leaves uh, to use as fertilizers in their vegetable field or rice field. And mountains have sources of rivers. And then we actually use the water from rivers uh, to grow rice. And uh, rice field uh, is very rich in resources as well because after harvesting rice, we have a rice straw and rice bran which can be used as fertilizers for your vegetable garden and rice field. So everything is circulated in Satoyama and uh, we actually led a sustainable way of living in the past. Um, now 70% of Japanese lands are mountains. So uh, Satoyamas are usually located near the mountains. So we have uh, lots of Satoyama uh, in fact. And this Satoyama lifestyle is uh, something that uh, people in Japan have practiced for thousands of years. And this is a very much a typical Japanese lifestyle. And the modernization began only recently and people started living in big cities such as Tokyo, Osaka in the last you know, 100 years or so. No, not even 100 years, last 50 years or so. So it's a very new and if you want to see what Japan looks like and if you want to experience Japanese culture, you must come to Satoyama. Okay, so today I'm going to show you what Satoyama looks like. So this is rice field and this is rice. Yeah. Uh, rice is our staple food in Japan and it is our soul food. Um, so if you come to Japan, uh, you should definitely eat rice, but also come to the rice field and uh, see how uh, this staple food is grown. And this is very much part of our culture. Uh, we usually plant rice in spring and harvest it in autumn. And in the summertime, we just uh, do the weeding and uh, change water and the rice growing is very much part of Japanese culture and those are mountains and that mountain is called Mount Watamuki which is the main mountain in Hino town and there is a sh kind of small shrine on top of the mountain and there's supposed to be a god which protects Hino town there and that mountain is very much uh, uh, kind of a, a part, well, tied with Watamiki Shrine, which is the main shrine in Hino Town. And usually in May, we have a festival called uh, Hino Festival, which is very much like a Gion Festival in Kyoto. And um, before the festival, some people climb up the Mount Watamiki and they go to the summit and give a prayer or conduct some kind of a ceremony. Uh, for, for, for the festival. Yes, so uh, these two rice fields are not harvested yet, but many other rice fields uh, people finished harvesting already. For example, this rice field here uh, is already harvested. I would say about two thirds of rice field in Hino Town I have been harvested already and only a few are left. Um, usually 
September, like early September or late August is the best time to see rice field because we have uh, all like a, you know rice with a yellow or a, a golden color. Uh, now it's a little uh, too late because uh, many rice is already harvested. Um, so this is the road I often come. I come here for cycling. Uh, which I call Satoyama cycling or I come here for walking which is a Satoyama walking and also I come here for Satoyama running as well uh, therefore if you come to Hinota uh, you can join with me for Satoyama cycling or Satoyama walking or Satoyama running um, oh yeah you see that white building over there that's an elementary school uh, actually my son goes to the elementary school um, but that school is very small uh, there are only 70 students altogether in the entire school and in my son's class there are only four students so it is very small um, so and then we can climb that mountain as well yeah maybe it takes about one hour to walk to the foot of the mountain and then uh, to climb to the top it takes another three hours from there yes it's a beautiful mountain the, the view from the summit is fantastic these red flowers over there uh, these are called higambana which means flowers of autumn equinox and they blossom around this time of year and uh, we see many of them uh, near the rice field so it's very beautiful to see them uh, when you go Satoyama walking or Satoyama cycling this is a soybean field um, you know soybeans are another type of food that is very common in Japan uh, we actually make natto from soybeans and we make tofu from soybeans yeah so these are the soybeans and when you eat them young uh, they are edamame uh, which is also popular uh, to eat with your beer at the moment too so uh, those are the soybeans field and and uh, when you come to Japan you must see soybean field and rice field and you see that small forest uh, that is the shrine in our neighborhood and usually we have a lot of trees in the shrine and this small forest is called Chinju no Mori in Japanese and some of the trees are kind of a sacred or holy tree and this is the shrine that you saw earlier and that's the main shrine gate uh, shrine the Shinto shrine is very much part of Satoyama culture because every community has a shrine and uh, people in the neighborhood are supposed to look after the shrine we conduct uh, seasonal se seasonal festivals for example uh, once in the spring and once in autumn and uh, sometime in the summertime we come here to clean up the shrine you know do the weeding and and usually before the festival we do the cleaning up uh, together with the entire member of the neighborhood we often see this kind of gate in Satoyama uh, those are the kind of a fence to protect from wild animals such as uh, deers and wild pigs and, and stuff like that uh, they often come to the rice field and uh, your vegetable field as well and we have lots of monkeys too and this is a big problem in Santoyama at the moment uh, it didn't happen in the past because people went to the mountains and they uh, you know cut trees and so on therefore animals ki kind of lived in the deep in the forest deep in the mountains and there was a big separation between the residencies and the animal kingdom but now because we basically planted a lot of um, artificial trees I mean like a needle 
uh, leaves trees such as uh, cedars and stuff like that and then uh, we don't have enough uh, broad leaf streets in the mountains so the animals don't have uh, food in the mountains so they just uh, come down to Satoyama uh, to look for food. Yeah that man over there is cutting grass so grass cutting is very much uh, summer work and we need to cut a uh, weed a constant tree. Yeah, I cut weed in my garden and my yard uh, probably once every two weeks. This is a bamboo forest. Um, we have a lot of bamboo trees in Japan. But again, uh, because not many people live in Satoyama these days, uh, there's not enough hands to maintain the forest. So uh, a lot of bamboo forests are run down, like having too many uh, bamboos growing in the forest. This is a chestnut tree and you know kind of fallen chestnut. This is a parsimon tree. Uh, parsimons are fruit, uh, very popular in Japan in autumn. Uh, we eat a lot of persimmons, so it's very much uh, autumn scenery and it's very much part of Satoyama scenery. Well, that's it. Uh, this is Satoyama holiday in Japan 2020. Thank you very much for watching the video today. And if you like it, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you in the next video.